Well, Wi-Fi 7 Grandstream hooked me up with a Wi-Fi 7 access point. Today, I'm going to unbox it, show it to you guys, go over a couple specs, and uh, adopt it to my controller. In a couple days, after it's been running and seeing how well it's performing in my house, I'm going to run this guy with the Spectrum Analyzer and some other tests. We'll leave that to another day though, but today's focus is to unboxing it, add it to controller and see how well it works. <clears throat> some of the specs on this beast, and I'm going to say beast because it's Wi-Fi 7, some pretty good specs on this beast. It's brand new, they just released it, it just came out. I don't think anybody else has got one in their hands but me. So let's have a quick look at the specs here. We got five gigabit per second aggregate wired throughput. Um, it's only a two by two by two, but that should be fine for here. I think, I can't remember if I saw it somewhere. There's another version coming out too with four by four by four, but we'll cover that in another video if there's one coming out here. Um, it says it supports 256 concurrent Wi-Fi client devices. I personally can't test that. Maybe somebody else will that can put it in a place that could do that. But for now, that's a lot of uh, devices. Anti-hacking secure boot and critical data control lockdown. I don't know what that is, but maybe one day I'll poke into that and see what it's all about. It's got the embedded controller, but me personally, and at work, I use the gdms.cloud and I have no issues with it. But if you only have an access point and maybe you want to add another one, you can have one access point and then just adopt it to this. It has actually got a built-in controller. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to use the GDMS cloud. Or if you really wanted to, you could buy one of their routers and manage it all by the router. I think the GCC6010 does all that. Works good. I've seen it. Um, Self-power adaptation upon auto detection of PoE+. Plus. I'm going to say that this thing's going to need some pretty good power. And I think when we manage it and add it to the portal, we'll look and see how much power it takes because I can log into the switch in my GDMS.cloud and see what it does. I'm going to pull up the spreadsheet here, see if there's anything else that's poking out. It says up to 175 meter coverage range. That's pretty, that's a pretty good distance. I'm going to say that it's got a lot of RF output for that. The normal specs does 2.4, 5 gigahertz. Maximum power varies by country. Different frequencies are allowed in different countries. So maybe the US I think has all the frequencies without any limitation. So you'll get maximum power up here in Canada. And I think N Europe is a little bit lower. So eh, it is what it is. What else do we got? 32 SSIDs, 16 per radio. That's a lot, holy. Uh, two 2.5 gig ethernet ports. I don't know if I'm gonna have time or if I'm gonna do it here, but I might have to play with that to see if you could do lag. I tried doing lag on my Wi-Fi 6E access point. That's what I'm currently using now. And it didn't work because one port's one gig and the other port's 2.5 gig. Obviously we have to have mirrored exactly the same ports. So we might try that, but lots of things to try there. Let's have a quick look and see what this thing looks like. Trusty knife that I carry with me. GWN7670. The first Wi-Fi 7 access point in my hands from Grandstream. Wonder who else is gonna come out with one this year that I'll try. Pretty simple basic box. What do we got in here? Ooh, hey, that's nice. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, before we open that, let's have a look and see what comes in the box again. Our standard screws, some wall mount drywall anchors. Actually, all the screws, that's pretty handy. I like it when they do that. We got a book that I probably won't read. Oh, hey, there's my favorite sticker. I love it when they do that. They put the stickers in the bag now. So that way, if you have this mounted already, you can adopt it and uh, add it to your portal without taking it back down. I like that. Oh no, they revised the mounting hardware. Uh-oh, 
That means you can't use existing axis mount mounts, but oh well. Let's see here. How does this go on? Take this out and have a look here then. It's heavy. Holy, that is so heavy. Oh, that would make sense why it's so heavy. Because it's aluminum and it's got heat sink fins on the bottom. Dissipate the heat. I like that. Okay. That means it's going to last. How does this work well? Oh, it's still got the center nipple too. I like that. So it's easy to line up. Nice. Just like that on. Okay. I like that. Pretty simple. Comes off on. Easy to line up. Not like the Unify ones where you just want to like be miserable trying to put them on because they never go on properly. So it looks like they mount, they come with the piece that goes on the opposite side of the ceiling tile and then the piece that faces forward. Nice. And the screws come with it. So that's cool. I'm going to keep this all together because I might mount this soon. Okay. So here's the access point. It looks kind of new. It's nice. Net one, network two. Aw, oh, there's a void warranty sticker there. <clears throat> Bummer. Can't take it apart because I don't want to wreck the first one that I have here. Um, what do we got? Net one, network two, 2.5 gig ports. One's PoE plus and the other one's not. So, okay. I don't know if lag's going to work on this, but I'll give it a shot later and see. Cool. Well, I got a cable. Let's plug it in. And as it's powering up, I will log into my gdms.cloud and see what it does. And since I have the Grandstream 8 port uh, 2.5 gig PoE switch, I'll try that. Let's go over here, find a port. Try a nice long cable. And we should probably plug it into the right port that says PoE power on it. Make us successful today, at least in this video. Okay. We'll let that be. Okay. We'll take the sticker since I have it here. Oh, it's powering up. It's doing it. So let's go gdms.cloud. They changed the icon on here. Let's log in. Okay. Uh, there's always an upgraded version. So let's go devices. Add. We're going to call this first Wi-Fi 7 AP. Mac address. This is where I get the struggle because these numbers are so small. That's why I got glasses on today too. Let's see here. EC 74 D7. Add. Did I do it right? Oh, look at that. On the first try, too. Woohoo. Okay, it's adopting. It's already online. I see the green light right there. Oh, it's blinking. Must be doing maybe firmware or still adopting, doing some stuff. I don't know if there's any new firmware for it because it's a new access point, I guess. It's blue. Let's go see if we can see the devices here. See here. Let's go to this. Oh, it's online. Okay. Configuration. Wi-Fi. Um, I don't have anything special set up on this because it's just the lab, right? Basic. Let's go and see settings, Wi-Fi. We might have to add this to my other network here. So let's call this... Jason's lab. Let's change this fast Wi-Fi. And we're going to call this to this device. So let's go at this and go all bands. And then device assignment. All devices. Oh. OK. We're going to get rid of this and this. Save it. Now, technically, I should be able to connect my phone to this. First Wi-Fi. Okay, let's try connecting to it and see what it does. See if we get some decent speeds. I mean, that's not a real good test, but at least we'll be able to connect to it because literally sitting right beside it. So, let's go like this. 
I'll do more thorough tests. Right now, I just wanted to get it online just in case there were some updates and stuff like that. And I'm going to be testing with that. <laughs> we are getting, and yes, I'm going to say it right now, I'm close to it. So yes, I'm probably going to get better speeds, but I'm going to be testing that in the next video with this and my phone mounted and see what kind of speeds I get. But standing beside it, we get pretty much a gigabit connection, 900 megabits per second. Pretty cool. I like that. Look how warm this is. Ah, uh, it's not warm yet. It's got to warm up. Let's check the switch because I wanted to show you guys that and see. So if we go to this devices here and we go to the 2.5 gig switch and we go to PoE ports, it should show us the power that it's taking. Uh, supplying power, we are on... Am I on the right port? Seven? Seven on the bottom. Yep, that's the right port right there. So current power milliwatts. We're pulling 4,800 milliwatts. Current milliamps. Oh, that's max. No, it says current milliwatts, milliamps. Oh. Current milliamps is 106. It's not really doing anything. So if, I bet you if I did a speed test again, that'll go up and down. Let's see here. Mm, I don't think the... Uh, real time is that fast but whatever no real time's not that fast current milliamp it went up to 150 milliamps which isn't that much eighty five hundred milliwatts huh okay cool well I mean, it's working, it's showing, it doesn't really pull that much power, but I bet you if I put a couple users on there and did a bunch of speed tests and some streaming and stuff like that, it'll pull more power. Almost guaranteed for that. I mean, not too, too much I wanna go over today. It's unboxed, ready to go. I think there's gonna be a couple things I wanna try. I really wanna try and see what lag will do. Maybe the, I can get that working. Last time I failed, but I remembered that uh, I was plugging into two different ports and with lag, you have to have identical ports. Duh. Forgot. I was probably doing it really late, late at night, but whatever. Um, so I really want to test with this device with this guy and see what kind of output and all that, what it does and stuff like that. And that's what this device is going to do for that. It took its update. So really ready to go. Hopefully this will help you guys. My first one seems to be access mounting. It would be pretty cool. And the way it's designed, it's actually metal on the bottom. It's all aluminum. So Pretty easy video. Um, I'll go over some more settings later on in the next video and test it with this. Um, thank you Grandstream for sending it to me and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully uh, this was a good video. You guys have a great day.